All right, what I'm going to do here is quick show you a video on how to make a uh, import pictures and make a time lapse with a Sony Vegas. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 10. And by the way, the camera I'm using is the Sony Action Cam. Um, it's got a wide field of view, so figured I'm going to test it out on this this year just see how it does with the computer screen and that. But uh, but anyways, back to the thing I'm making a I'm gonna import some pictures in here and show you how to make a time lapse I'm gonna try to make this as fast as possible so um, we initially want to do when you start this out is you're gonna open your Sony Vegas up and go up to options and go down to preferences click preferences and once you do that um, go to the editing tab and you're going to see on there, um, you're, you got an option for new still image length in seconds. And I run that at point, uh, five oh, And I'm going to leave that there. You can mess, mess around with that, bring that up or down. And, you know, the, far, the more you bring it up, of course, the longer the video is. But it, you, you end up getting into a choppy, choppy frames on a video for these time lapse. And the other option is the automatic overlap multiple selected media when added. Um, I run that right in here at, at uh, basically 0 .0, or 0 0.01. And that does is overlap each frame, so it, it does make that more fluid. You go ahead and click Apply. Next step, of course, is you're going to want to open your media up and look for your pictures which I have them on an SD card and I took these images with a Nikon uh, J1 uh, click that first image of course uh, drag down hold shift then left click the last image hit open and we'll probably be sitting here for a minute so I'm going to shut the camera off once these uh, pictures are imported All right, uh, pictures are imported, and now the problem we're going to have once you have these pictures imported is, let me expand this, you're going to have roughly, I got a thousand pictures here, and in order to adjust anything, you know, that you want to do, you have to go on to each individual picture to adjust it as far as like, say, event pan and crop or event FX, and the workaround for that is once these are in um, you're going to want to uh, um, basically turn that into a video but before you do that you're going to want to go to uh, this tab here project video properties and this is what this uh, is set at right now but there's a little icon right here match media settings click that and then you're gonna have this box come up and find your pictures say on your SD card or whatever and once you find them just highlight the first one and click open well now the template is now matched with the picture itself and you see before uh, you're looking at you know you have a lot of blank here your black black uh, screen not filling a picture and once I click apply you're gonna get this so now you're you're matching your media settings is what you had your initial you know your pictures off your camera on and you can go ahead and go to the next step which is we're going to try to get this so we can turn this into a, you know basically a, on your timeline an actual movie instead of having one a thousand pictures and to do that you're going to go up the file and save as and make sure you get the it's a save as type veg file and going to save that in your documents wherever you save it and what I do is just keep overwriting this time lapse to test and so this is what I'm going to call it and I'm going to click save and now that I save that veg file you go up the file again in Sony Vegas and click new 
in you know whatever media settings you want generally I run at 720 at 1280 you know by 720 at 60 frames a second now you're, you're gonna start a new project and once you do that you want to go to your Explorer tab in your Vegas or you know however you want to do it uh, if, you, if you don't have the Explorer tab I'm sure you know you, people know how to do that but just check the Explorer tab or highlight it so you got it and you're gonna go in and want to find that time-lapse to test or whatever you called it and once you find that you know left click it and drag that down to your timeline and once you do that as you're gonna see here you're gonna get rid of the you know a thousand pictures and basically turn it into a what it what with my settings what I got upset up is a 44 second video so now you got the option to you know expand or uh, make it longer or shorter or go on to video you know FX and basically you can uh, go down and say you want to sharpen everything up you know drag the, uh, that down in there and sharpen the entire picture and whatnot you don't have to click on individual frames or anything like that so you know that's the biggest thing at, at uh, when you're trying to do this so once you got all that done and I want to get rid of these black lines I'm gonna end up losing image to do it but now you can go into your event pan and crop and um, go to the preset part where the drop down is I'm gonna turn that to 16 by nine widescreen and you know you just got rid of the you know all the blank area on your your video and I'm gonna drag this up a little so I want to get it you know say a good picture of the sky and you close that out and um, there's the you know entire picture so once you have that done and you're satisfied with everything you can basically go ahead and render your uh, your video and save file uh, render as and save it whatever way you like you know now there's a another another thing I guess you can do is go into your file and click properties and this is set up as that now say I want to go at uh, you know internet uh, 640 by 480 click OK um, you're gonna have your lines and stuff like that but you can basically uh, adjust everything as you as you want um, let me get this back to 720p at 60 frames and what I'm gonna do next is basically just show the um, rendered video and show you what it looks like. 